now let's open the material editor pick an empty slot first and let's prepare the snow material i'll use uh, follow for this uh, here i choose blue color instead of black and uh, apply it to the snow now if i render the scene it looks like this just apply turbo smooth modifier to make the snow mesh smooth it looks better now now choose the fall off type as shadow light now render the scene again it looks much better now we will tweak uh, it more uh, but later for now let's work on the pipe texture i have some metal textures so i pick one of them and apply this to the pipe before that i use a, a uvw modifier on the pipe i select the cylindrical mapping click on fit and now apply this texture to the pipe now i tweak the tiling values so that my texture could look good on the pipe now if i render the scene it looks like this well this looks fine to me for the jagged edges of the pipe you can apply the turbo smooth modifier onto it now it looks good now let's create some supporting pipes so i take uh, one more cylinder and put it here something like this one more copy of it and uh, let's apply the same texture to the to these pipes also one more thing uh, we can do we can put the same texture to the bump channel too to give the to give some bump it looks fine but let's decrease the value more it looks better now now it's time to apply some lights in the scene so i use a standard omni lights in the scene i put the first omni light here or into the scene one more thing um i add a background uh, image in the background this one this will help me this will help me matching the cg lights according to the original image now you can clearly see that in the original image light is coming from left side so that's why i too have to put the cg light in the left so that it could match the original image now see how does it look like it is still dark so let's apply some more lights in the scene see i'm not making any lighting tutorial but i just want to make it look good you can experiment with the better lighting setups like uh, mental ray or v ray render the scene now the fill light makes it better than before let's tweak the position of the key light uplift this light a bit it looks better now but shadow looks quite high so turn off the shadow for this light and now see the render do one thing drag the light down a bit and now turn on the shadow once again it looks good to me now i think one more uh, light is uh, needed in the scene so put it here
I made this to fill this dark area. Let's see the render. Now it looks quite good. Now let's work on snow material once again. You can do so many things here like uh, playing with the fall off curve. Actually we'll have to see which settings give you perfect result. It looks quite better than before. We can tweak the RGB value of pipe texture because it looks quite harsh. So for that you can decrease uh, the output amount value a bit and uh, then, it, then it will look less sharp. You can give some glossiness to the texture too. Now, uh, in the fall of material, I can apply noise in the bump channel to give some displacement. It looks quite high, so let's change uh, the noise type to uh, fractal and then it looks quite good. I think uh, it's quite fine. See, I'm not doing any great lighting at all, but you can experiment with the lights setup for more better result. It always depends upon you, as I say always. Tutorial is just to show you a path only. To go on that path and experimenting with the things is your task, in fact. Once it is done, disable the image from the environment and uh, Take the render of the scene in TGA format in 32 bits mode. And now let's move towards After Effects to composite the scene.